in the power of the Holy Spirit. Bandi Bariana, the Kabari Katabariana, the Kabari Bandi Bari Katayana, the Kabari Katayana, Holy Spirit, we call upon you. And ye shall receive power. And ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Be in his presence this hour. Connect to the Holy Spirit. Call upon him. The living water. Let the Holy Spirit take control over my soul. In every situation, oh my King and my Lord, oh yes, Lord, Jesus, Bandi Bari Very soon, the word of God will be coming. I want you to be in the presence of God. Forget about everything. Call upon the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, He makes all things new. He brings sanctification, purification, new life. We roll everything onto you, Holy Spirit. I roll everything to you, Holy Spirit. My spirit, my soul, my body. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I plead the precious blood of Jesus upon our lives right now. Mm. Let the blood wash us. Let the blood sanctify us. Because the blood is still at work. Any negative habit in our lives, I invoke the blood of Jesus from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet I invoke the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Holy Spirit take absolute control in every situation in our lives. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Unto you. Jesus. Shandibari Katamari De Kabaru Mandiri De Shandarama De Katamari 
Di kabari kaca baru mandi di bari andara basi kabaru mayan dara basi di kaca dan baku bari manda kabaru mandi bis. Thank you Holy Spirit. Anyone connected? This hour on Bless Radio Open Doors Prayer Ministries Worldwide. I pray the light of God upon our lives right now. The power of God upon your life, upon my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every step that we take be ordered by the Lord. In the powerful name of Jesus. Every burden be lifted right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that is troubling your heart. Troubling your spirit, soul and body. I speak light into that situation now. I speak the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus to transform you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God once again. This is Blessed Radio with Open Doors Prayer Ministries Worldwide. In this station, we preach the message of salvation. We preach to empower people, the children of God. We teach to, to enrich your soul. Hallelujah. Because the end times are very, very close. And children of God must manifest the kingdom must walk in the kingdom, must operate in the kingdom. And when I talk about the kingdom, I'm talking about the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God, not the kingdom of man. Praise the name of the Lord. Last week, we spoke on the kingdom of righteousness. The kingdom of righteousness. And we read the book of Romans chapter 14, verses 17. Romans chapter 14. A, a quick recap and then we jump up to the next topic for today. Romans chapter 14, verses 17. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 14, 14 verses 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. But righteousness. But righteousness. Is your mic on? Yes. yes. Okay. Praise nice. God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace. And joy in the Holy Ghost. For the kingdom of God. So there is the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of the devil. Hallelujah. But in the kingdom of God. It is not a matter. Of eating and drinking. It also simply means. That it is not a matter of flesh operating in the flesh it is a matter of operating as a child of the kingdom 
Hallelujah. Because the Bible makes us to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. So there is a battle going on in the spiritual realm that when we do not win, we, we see the manifestation in the physical. But when we win in the spiritual, we see the manifestation also in the physical. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, of peace and joy in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. So it means for us to operate in the kingdom, we need the Holy Spirit. No child of God can operate effectively on earth without the backing power of the Holy Spirit. No child of God can manifest the kingdom without the power and the backing of the Holy Spirit. I cannot preach effectively without the backing power of the Holy Spirit. You cannot win your battles on earth, both spiritually and physically, without the backing power of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is very, very important in our lives. And yesterday I was so happy. Should I say that yesterday was one of my happiest days in my life for us to go out there and witness about the kingdom evangelize about the kingdom speak to people about the kingdom the Holy Spirit was at work the Holy Spirit manifested himself hallelujah Others were sharing, and one woman of God was preaching with power and with passion. Hallelujah. And I saw the power of God working mightily. And I cannot wait to go out again. Hallelujah. So we need to manifest the power of the kingdom. That's why he says it is not a matter of eating and drinking. Oh, I'm a Christian. Oh, I am a child of God. It is not by saying it, but it is by what? Acting upon what you have said. So Jesus said, many shall say on that day, I did this, I did that in your name. And I'll say unto them, Get ye hands, ye workers of iniquity. So there are people who are working iniquity. And this kind of people are working for the kingdom of darkness. That's why today we are talking about the kingdom of light. The kingdom of righteousness and today the kingdom of light. As a child of God, you must walk in the light. We must operate in the light. And what is this light? It is not this light that is turned on, the natural light that man made. It is not the natural light. Hallelujah. Amen. John 4, 24 talks about the light. John chapter 4 verses 24. Verse 24. Yes. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship him 
must worship him in spirit and in truth. So God one has spoken about a spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. He has spoken about a spirit. We are talking about the light today. Righteousness and light. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, the Bible says, the kingdom is not meat and drink. It's not physical. It is about spirits. Amen? Amen. It is about what? Spirit. spirit. So, God is a spirit. They that do what? Worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. And in truth. Amen. God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. So we must manifest the spiritual. The one that we are worshiping, we must demonstrate. We must have his nature. Amen. We must have his nature. Yes. Until we bear the nature of God, we cannot operate in the kingdom. Amen. So when you say you are a child of God, then you must operate as God will operate. Amen. Hallelujah. First John 1 chapter 5, uh, verses 5. First John 1 verses 5. We have spoken about God is what? A spirit. God, not an ordinary person. God, the almighty God is a spirit. Okay, so one, he is a spirit. Number two, 1 John 1 5. 1 John chapter 1 uh, verse 5. Yes. This then is the message. This then is the message. Which we have heard of him. That we have heard of him. And declare unto you. Unto you we declare. That God is light. That God is who? God is light. God is light. And in him is no darkness at and all. And in him there is no what? Darkness. So the Bible talks about God as light, God as spirit. Mm. So if we as children of God must demonstrate the light, we got to be what? Spiritual. Amen. Be the image to portray the image. Praise the name of the Lord. Be the image. God created us in his own image. And likeness. So if God is a spirit, then the image is spiritual. If God is light, his image must be light. And therefore, we must then demonstrate the light. Hallelujah. Amen. In him, there is no, there is no darkness at all. A child of God must not have darkness at all. This darkness is sin. Operating in sin. Living in sin. A child of God must not operate in sin, live in sin, and accept sin because God is light. You are light. Are we understanding this message? So, when you are born again, it means you have crucified the flesh. Sometimes we say we are human. Yes, we are human. That's why the Bible says, if we say we have not sinned, then we are lying. But as soon as a true child of God who dwells in the light, 
as soon as you sin, the Holy Spirit will remind you, convict your heart, and you ask for forgiveness, you don't go back to that sin. That means you are dwelling in the light. You are portraying the light. You are living in the light. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't see why a child of God must not dwell and live in the light. Praise the name of the Lord. The day you became born again, darkness was taken out of your life. Sin was crucified. Anywhere you see darkness, it is figurative. Majority of them is figurative, meaning sin. So it says, you have, there's no darkness at all in him. There's no sin. It means there is no sin at all in Jesus or in God. Jesus is God, which we are going to um, read it now. Hallelujah. Amen. So when you see darkness, it simply means that the works of the flesh, the works of sin, when you are operating in darkness, evil is done in darkness. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Evil is done in darkness. Majority of evil. That's why Jesus, uh, Jesus said that I'll come like a thief in the night. Mm. Because the thief works in the night. Mm. He works evil. He, he or she knows that what he's going to do is not acceptable. Mm. So he has to go in darkness so that he cannot be seen. That is how a lot of Christians are behaving. Oh, I don't want anyone to see I'm doing this. So they do it in darkness. Then on Sunday, they dress nicely to go to church. Your heart is full of darkness. Jesus is calling you. Amen. Jesus is calling you. Hallelujah. Don't go and sin and say that I am going to repent. Why don't you stop the sin? Overcome the sin. Rather than sinning and asking God for forgiveness. When you live in the light, when you live according to the will of God, sin, the Bible says, has no dominion over you. Sin must not dominate a child of God. Sin must not have control over a child of God because you are a child of light. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Colossians chapter 1 verses 13. Hallelujah. You must live according to the will of God. Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 please. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness? And put the Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Hallelujah. Amen. He has delivered us from the what? The power of darkness. The kingdom of darkness. Amen. So there is the kingdom of darkness. Where a lot of Christians, children of God, believers, are operating under. It is not by word. That will save your soul. It is by deeds. Amen. Hallelujah. It is not by word alone. That's why the Bible says, let us not love by word alone. But what? In truth and in deed. 
whatever we do must be in truth and indeed we must understand the will of God. Amen. You can be a prophet. You can be a pastor. You can be a, a reverend minister. You can be a bishop. If you do not do the works of the Father and live in the light, you will perish. Now God doesn't want us to perish. So it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If it is by title that we shall have eternal life, then the whole world will have title. Everyone will have title. If it is by nice dressing that you have eternal life, no one will go to hell because everyone will go and dress nice. The young rich man came to Jesus and asked him, what shall I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said, you know the law. That shall not commit adultery, that shall not uh, bear for sweetness. You know the law. You know the commandments. And the young man said, all these have I observed from my youth. And Jesus said, you lack one thing. Go and sell your goods. Give to the poor. And come and follow me. The Bible said he was grieved. Hallelujah. He went sorrowful. It means your earthly properties cannot give you salvation. The things we acquire on earth cannot give us salvation. It is working in the light. Hallelujah. Amen. It is walking in the light. Believing in the light. Operating under the light. John chapter 1 verses 1. You have been translated from Colossians 1.13 has told us we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness. So John chapter 1. Now we are going to portray the light. The light that was from Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep. And God said, let there be light. And that is the true light. That's what is written in John chapter 1 verses 1. Downwards. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with the God. The word was with God. And the word was God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning. The with God. same word was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. All things were made by the word. And without him was not anything. And made. without the word was nothing made. That was made. That was made. In him was life. In the word was life. And the life was the light of man. And the word was the life of man. And the light shineth in darkness. And the light shines in darkness. Read it again, please. Go back one minute. One in step. him was life. In him, in the word was life. And the life was the light of man. And the life. So we have the word which is the life. And the life was what? The light of men. Amen. And the light shineth in darkness. And the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. And darkness could not comprehend the light. As it was in Genesis chapter 1. And God said, let there be light. So wherever there is light... A child of God, when you operate under the light, anywhere you go, darkness must give way. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
Sin must give way. Amen. When you are in the light, when the light shines on you, poverty must give way. Amen. Sin must give way. Amen. Barrenness must give way. Amen. Anything that is negative must give way. Amen. Fornication must give way. Amen. Jealousy must give Amen. way. Amen. Amen. Envy must give way. Hallelujah, Stealing Lord. must give way. Amen. Anything of the flesh that is way. sinful yes. must give way. Amen. You must manifest Amen. the light. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You Thank must you. manifest the light. Amen. And the light shines in darkness. Mm. So this light is not the moon. It is not the sun. It is not the stars. It says in him. So the light is referring to a being. A being that is a spirit. That is manifesting himself in the flesh. Showing forth what he was from the beginning. He is now declaring, showing us in these last days, it has, or he has been manifested unto us. Jesus said, the prophets who came before you, they have longed to see this day. They didn't see the Son of Man. We are privileged to have the Son in our generation. And the light. So the light is Jesus. Continue, please. There was a man sent from God. Yes. Whose name was John. Yes. The same came for a witness. Yes. To bear witness of the light. He came to bear witness of the light. That Hold on there. How many people are bearing witness of you and I? Hmm. When your name is mentioned as a prophet, as a teacher, as a pastor, as an evangelist, as a, a bishop, as a reverend minister, as a child of God, what testimony comes after? What witness? What do they say about you? Your character on earth. How do they describe you? Is your description going according to the will of God or it is going according to the will of the devil there was a man sent to bear what witness, witness to the light heaven and earth has recorded your day that you were born until now what witness do people witness about you Oh, that pastor, he always talks about money. Defrauding people. That sister, he's playing, she's playing games. She does this, she does that. What witness? Some good witness or something good must be said about you. As a child of God, if you are in the light, don't mind what others will say about you wrongly because the Bible has said, that rejoice when men shall say all manner of evil against you. It doesn't mean that when they say evil against you, you are not a child of God. It means you are manifesting Christ to them. So Jesus said, for my name's sake, not for fornication's sake, not for adultery's sake, not for stealing, defrauding, jealousy, backbiting, not for that sake they shall say all oh, manner of evil against you, but for my name's sake. So if they say evil against you for the sake of Jesus, rejoice. If they say all oh, manner of evil against you for the sake of sin, be what? Sad and repent. Hallelujah. There was a man sent by God to bear witness of the light. 
Continue, please. The, the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. Yes. That all men through him might believe. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. He was not that light. He was not that light. But was sent to bear witness of that light. He was sent to bear witness of the light. That, that was the true light. That was the true light. Which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Before you come to the world. That's why in the beginning it says all things were made by him. Uh. And in Genesis it says, and God created man in his own image. That from the beginning, God made the light. It says, let the light come. Let the light, let there be light. So I can make creation. I can create man in our own image. So this is the true light that lights every man. So from Adam to now, whoever is born comes through this light. Jesus Christ. That is why he still gives chance for people to repent. Because through him, you came. And once you came through him, therefore you have the power to manifest him. The image must portray who the original is. Are we doing that? A child of God, are you portraying? When you go anywhere, what message do people say about you? The kingdom of light is what? Holiness, purity, cleanliness. We, our conscience must be cleansed every time. Sin must be far away from our doorsteps. Hallelujah. Sin. So John was bearing witness of the light. Carry on, please. He was in the world. He was in the world. And the world was made by him. And the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. And the world knew him. He came it is a new it. Knew him. We are still talking about a human being. A spirit. He came unto his own. He came unto his own. And his own received him not. His own did not receive him. But as many as received him. But as many as received the light. So then gave he power to become the sons of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. To become what? The sons of God. To become the image of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Even to them that believe on, on his, his name. name. Hallelujah. Which we are born. Which were born. Not of blood. Not of blood. Not of the will of the flesh. Not of the will of the flesh. Mother not, and father. Not of the will of man. Yes. But of God. But of God. And the word was made flesh. And the word, the light, became what? Flesh. Flesh. And dwelt among us. And dwelt amongst us. And we beheld his glory. And we beheld his glory. So all that the Bible is talking about here is him, his, him, him. Hallelujah. Amen. So now the word is telling us that Jesus is the light. How do we know that Jesus is the light? How do we know that this scripture is describing Jesus or describes Jesus? How do we know? Some may say, oh, Moses and all those people, they came. They were all prophets, Abraham and all. So how do we know? Hallelujah. We are going to know right now. John 9, verse 5. John chapter 9, verse 5. Who is speaking there? Jesus. Jesus is now speaking. This is not John who spoke. This is not any prophet who spoke. This is not somebody who witnessed anything to speak. This is Jesus himself 
speaking. So John 1, 1 till 14 or 13 describe the light. He, 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 he. And in Genesis 1 talks about he, the light, the light, he, the light. Now, he, him, the light. We are going to see who he is. Praise God. Hallelujah. Genesis 9. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yeah, in the spirit. Yes. <laughs> John chapter 9, verse Five. Five. As long as I am in the world, Jesus said, As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Amen. So, what did Jesus show on earth? What was his lifestyle? The kingdom. He came to portray the kingdom. To save those who have gone what? Astray. To preach. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach good tidings. That's the light. He's talking about Isaiah 61, please. We will continue next week on the light by the special grace of God. The kingdom of light. Child of God, when you are sure that you are in the kingdom of light, you must shun every evil, every sin. Sin of the flesh. Sin of the sight. Whatever will, will divert your, your soul, you must shun it. And it takes the Holy Spirit. It takes the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. To help us to overcome sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 verse 1. Yes. The Spirit of the Lord God the is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. The Lord has anointed me. To preach good tidings unto the to meek. To preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. So this is what the light must do. Anyone operating in the light, under the light, must do what? Set the captives free. To proclaim liberties to the captive. To set people free, not to fight people. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Those who are bound, those who are in captivity, you speak the word to deliver them from bondage, not to fight them. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. This is the mission of Christ. And the, the kingdom must be manifested through the light. Amen. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of God. Of and the day of vengeance. So That's the judgment. Yeah, to comfort all that mourn. To comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Hallelujah. To appoint to them that mourn in Zion. Should I continue? Please hold on. Hallelujah. We are talking about the light. It is not by might. It is not by power. It is by his spirit. Says the Lord. You know. The child of God will go through so many challenges, afflictions. They will set traps for you. They will say all manner of words against you to pull you down, to bring you down. That is why you must be strong in the spirit. Call upon the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit give you direction. In all situations, let the Holy Spirit give you what? Direction. And when the Holy Spirit is giving you direction, definitely you will not operate in darkness. 
You will operate in the light as a child of God. In him there is no what darkness at all. Because he is a spirit. When you are spiritual, praying day and night, communicating with your father, it is not easy for sin to overtake you. Because you are alert. For we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. That's what the Bible says. For we are not ignorant. Ignorance causes us to walk in darkness. Hallelujah. As a man of God, as a child of God, don't allow the flesh to control you. The light was spirit. Or it is spirit. The light is spirit. God is spirit. The word is spirit. It became light and became flesh. But still, it is spiritual. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Though we walk, so we are living in the flesh. But we are not operating under the power and the will of the flesh. The flesh is our cover, helping us to operate on earth. Not he. We are not helping the flesh to operate on earth. The, the flesh is helping us. The spirit in us. The soul. The real being. The flesh is helping us. That's why Jesus became flesh. The word became flesh. He was in the world. And the world knew him not. Because he was spirit. But now he became flesh. So that flesh will know him. And know who he is. And then he can bring the man. The real being out of this world and save the souls that are perishing. Hallelujah. Amen. Child of God, you are a spirit, whether you like it or not. <laughs> because God is a spirit. God is what? A spirit. Now let us make man in our own image. God did not breathe into the air. Listen carefully. He didn't breathe his image into the air. He breathed his image into something he formed out of the ground. So before the breath of God entered into that image that he formed, out of the ground of the earth, that thing, that clay, that flesh was lifeless. When you don't operate under the spirit of God, so Jesus says, that which is born of the flesh is what? Flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. It is his flesh and spirit. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. When you are born of God, you are now what? Spirit. So Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. A child of God, born of the spirit, must operate under the will of the Spirit. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Crucify the deeds of the flesh. You can be a man of God. You can be a woman of God. Don't be proud. Child of God, don't be proud. Don't live in uh, pride. Because I'm a pastor. Because I'm this. Because I'm that. Yeah, I'm the head of this church. I'm the head. I have thousand, two thousand congregations. It doesn't matter. 
the number of people under you it is your works this each man shall be justified according to thy works or your works and each man shall be condemned according to your works it is the works not who you are but what the spirit has made you and who you are worshiping worship the father in spirit and in truth it is about time that we drive away darkness and the light shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it there are people I, I sometimes I watch uh, 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 things on social media and I cry I pray for certain men and women of God in quotes a man of God takes a gun to go and fight a woman of God. Are you living in the light? A gun. Weapons. To go and fight a woman. Are you living in the light? Would the Holy Spirit lead you with a gun? And the light shines in darkness. Whatever darkness has surrounded your life, your entire life, your ministry, let the light shine. Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as Next week, by the special grace of God, we'll continue with the light. I want children of God, righteousness and the light. We'll be, we'll be preaching and teaching on this. As we do this uh, evangelism outside there for souls to be saved, we want children of God to live in the light. Operate in righteousness. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. It's righteousness. Peace. Joy in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of light. The kingdom of righteousness. That is what we need. For us it is appointed once unto man to die. And after that judgment. On the judgment day. Each man shall give account of what they did with their bodies. What you did and what you are doing, child of God, you will give account one day. You are hiding as a man of God, as a woman of God, committing adultery. A few months ago, a man of God was, in fact, died in the process of committing adultery. Where is that so going to? It's an elder of one of the big churches in Ghana or in the world. He took one of his members to a hotel when he has a wife. After preaching, went to a hotel with a dickness of the church and committed adultery and died in the process. But in the church, you say, oh, this man, he blows tongues. He, he teaches well. He is a true man of God. Are you doing something in darkness? What are you doing in darkness? You will give account one day. We shall all give account. That I pray, I, I always pray to God. If I even do a little thing against somebody I pray to God, God forgive me I'm not perfect none of us is perfect but when you walk in the light Jesus said Thou, you shall never walk in darkness if you follow him if you follow him 
If I follow Jesus because he is light, I shall never walk in darkness. Because he is shining every day, every night. He is shining upon me because I'm following him. Are you following Jesus, child of God? He said, I am the only way, the truth to the Father and the life of your soul. No one can go to the Father. No one can enter into the kingdom, into the kingdom of light without me. The kingdom of righteousness, you cannot enter without me. You cannot attain it without me. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. It is about time that we crucify sin in our bodies. This man died on a woman, a man of God. Where is his soul going to? Let's imagine that after committing adultery, he was able to leave and went home and died at home. The, oh, very powerful man of God. May his soul rest in peace. That is what we always wish people. May his or may her soul rest in peace. But is the soul really resting in peace? That is the major question we must ask. Because he died in a hotel. So people now knew who he was. I pray that you will, we will not die in our sins. Let us repent any sin of the flesh. Let us, all of us, including me, whatever sin that is in our bodies, in our members, I pray that the light of God will shine. The light of God will shine. And the light shines in darkness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But the special grace of God will continue on the kingdom of light next week. If Jesus doesn't come. Because children of God must walk in the light. We must live in the light. We must operate in the light. Thank you, Lord. Call upon the Holy Spirit now. Wherever you are, wherever you are, call upon the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shandi Baru Katamaya. Deke Buru Shandaramash. Crucify every sin. Let the Holy Spirit help you. Crucify every sin, every sin, every sin, every sin. Drive away darkness. Barikata baru mashanda katanda ramash. Deka bakunda ramashi katayanda ramash. Jesus can come at any time. Call upon Him. Let us repent. Any sin that is holding us in captivity. Drunkenness. Command that drunkenness to me. Let the light of God shine. Hatred for people. Command that spirit of hatred, the spirit of drunkenness. They are all operating under the power of darkness. Yes, let the light shine in every situation that troubles our minds. We leave them to you, Holy Spirit. Before you, Holy Spirit. We roll everything onto you. Yes, yes. All our burdens. All our cares and burdens. We roll them onto you, Jesus. Yes, pray. Communicate with the Holy Spirit now. Communicate with the Holy Spirit now. Oh, 
mari kata mari mama mama dere bi roll them roll them onto him jesus is his arms are open his arms are open unto you call upon him now all my cares and burdens i roll them onto you yes call upon jesus He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Call upon Him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, let the living water wash us. Let it flow over our soul. We have a few minutes to live here. Thank you Holy Spirit. Shande baru katanda rabash. I pray for every soul right now. Let every burden be lifted off your shoulders. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let every burden be lifted. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Heavy heaviness heaviness in your heart be lifted right now in the mighty name of Jesus thank you thank you thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit shande bari mama in all situations lift them up 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 before the holy spirit Roll on to them, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Let the light of God shine in your marriage right now. In your marriage right now. Any confusion in your marriage. Let the light destroy every darkness in your marriage right now. In the name of Jesus. Ancestral curses be broken right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you, Jesus. Shake a body, Bandi Bari Kata, Bandi Bari Kata, Bandi Bari Kata. Let the light shine upon our children right now. Wherever they are, we pray the light to shine upon our children. Wherever they are upon this surface of the earth, in Africa, in Europe, let your light shine upon them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, any darkness upon their lives, we speak the light of God. We speak the light of God upon their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, let Jesus shine in their lives. Upon our children, upon our children, 
We dip them in the blood. We dip them in the precious blood. Let every step that they take be ordered by the Lord. We stop every oppression of the enemy against their lives right now. Sin of the flesh. We destroy them through the light of God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for divine protection upon their lives. We dip their spirit, their soul, their bodies in the blood of Jesus. Right now, we command every light to shine upon them. Darkness, give way. Darkness, give way. Darkness, give way. In the lives of our children, right now, in Jesus' mighty name, wherever they are, yes, in the schools, yes, let your light shine around them, in them, in Jesus' mighty name. Bande Bagota Mariana. Beka Marumana Mashinerebe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Child of God, God richly bless you for joining us in this hour of Bible teachings and preaching. I believe you have been blessed. And by the special grace of God, we will come your way again next week for the continuation of this message, the kingdom of righteousness and the kingdom of light. Hallelujah. We are here to empower you, to encourage you that nothing is lost. Hallelujah. Nothing is lost. There are greater things ahead of you, greater blessings ahead of you. Yes. Don't look behind again. Focus on the kingdom. Focus on Christ Jesus. And whatever you do shall prosper. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Stay blessed and God bless you. And continue to enjoy the rest of your day. In Jesus' mighty name.